Hi, I'm T from Tirosphere, and welcome to this tutorial uh, of the section weapons. So uh, we will start uh, this tutorial by making a laser rifle from the G uh, game series Fallout, and uh, we will use the blueprints which I found. Uh, model uh, weapon is good to train the poly modeling because we have a uh, not so complicated shape and there is a lot of details uh, which we have to do there so it will be nice to train the poly modeling so I found, uh, found some blueprints first uh, be sure that uh, in these preferences here in, uh, is this set uh, uh, like this to make a blueprint to appear in the view uh, correctly. So let's press M and start to put the blueprint into the view. So I will just drag a plane on which we will apply the blueprint. Now I will uh, keep this low just to one and select uh, just a free material slot and select standard. Now diffuse bitmap and I will start from the right because uh, uh, by this rifle uh, the left and the right is different, it's not absolutely symmetric or better the details are different so let's start first from the right. Now uh, just remember the settings I will use similar to this. Uh, I will not use exactly uh, 710 to 110 but I will just divide it by two. I need to keep the aspect ratio. So from the picture, so I will use. So I will use this: 205 and 105. <coughs> now drag it to the plane. Check these to see it in the view. So uh, one plane we have uh, already there. Now let's turn off the grid. We don't need to see it. Go to top, drag another plane from, uh, for the top view, uh, copy this by dragging it to some slot and just choose this map. Now should be uh, 205 by 48. Uh, I will name it a little bit and put it here. Now, uh, yeah, it's <coughs> reverse, so we need to rotate this by 180 degrees. Uh, so back to the bitmap and put here 180. Now let's look how it's looking. Now it's not looking the best, so let's fix this by. Checking this here, yeah, it's a little better. So uh, you see how important it is to set the view preferences to the right settings, because when you set it bad, you will not see your reference how it should be looking. So I press a four and select these and rotate this top plane by 90 degrees. Try to move it to the right position. Press L to go to left view, drag it a little bit up and a little bit back. Just to match uh, the two blueprints uh, to the view. <coughs> now I think, yeah, we are too much up, so back to left. a little bit. No. Okay, just just a little bit. Okay. So uh, the two blueprints here. I will place another plane because I have also a reference picture and I want to see it uh, by the model link. So back to the editor, copy it again. I will rename it and put here. This picture which I found, which have these dimensions. So, hmm. 
so this uh, here we don't have to keep the ratio to be one to one because this is just truly a reference picture for us. So let's uh, look on the rifle. We have our blueprints in the scene. Uh, just select them, right click, properties, and freeze the soundtrack. And okay, the references are uh, done in the view. Uh, now I'm looking that on this picture this is a little bit uh, wider but it can be just the settings which I put there. <coughs> but it doesn't matter. These are, uh, these are our blueprints from which we will model and for this we will look just for the details. So, I will start with this shape. Uh, it's, it's the majority shape by the model, so I will call it like the main body. So I will just put here box, doesn't matter how big and so on. I will name it to the main body and change the color to gray. Right click, convert to poly, Alt X to see through. And now select vertex and put them in the right position. Now this on the top and this on the bottom. Put them to the left and to the right. Now I think we uh, we can do the whole model from this shape from the box. Maybe somehow uh, okay. This looks like a cylinder. Okay, we. Will we are not stupid to do this from the box, but mostly we can do everything from the box. Yeah, so let's go to the left view, no, front view, to place the cylinder to match. Oops. Uh, one step back. We place the cylinder right to match also the top view. Okay, can go to perspective right now. And okay, we have our basic shape here. And now let's look uh, how the details are looking right here. So if, I, if I'm looking on this picture of the rifle, I see that the, these edges, which I have absolutely sharp now, are chamfered. They are chamfered a lot. So I will select these edges here. We create the shape which is in the reference picture and which I don't see in the blueprint. Select chamfer and by the mouse do something like this. Now uh, I created the basic shape and it's a little bit more matching the reference picture. Now I have still here a very sharp edges so I will zoom on it a little bit not so much and chamfer them again. Like this. Now I will use the keyboard and chamfer them one more time, and we will do so called so called the double chamfer. It's because uh, by this model I don't want to use any mesh smooth or something like that. I will just use the smooth modifier. I hope I will just use that. And for this we will uh, need to do uh, these double chamfers more because when we look on the model, already the edges are smooth and round and they are not absolutely sharp. And uh, so far, uh, we don't need to use on this uh, any smooth modifier, uh, any mesh smooth modifier, just the smooth modifier, which is in the list here. So uh, let's go to top and let's proceed with the model. Now, <coughs> select this poly here, this on the bottom. Now I will select it like this. I will select everything here. Press Alt and deselect this. Now, check the bevel and go and bevel a little bit. Let's go a little bit up once more. And okay, um, my bad a little bit. Let's go two steps back because uh, right now I see that uh, this is not symmetric, but when I see the reference picture, 
it looks uh, symmetric so I'm not sure how it should be right so uh, I will just do it uh, from this reference here at the bottom and we will see after how it will be looking oh, okay so, so let's bevel again and right we'll go more we'll bevel a little bit more and we will foc focus on the detail at the bottom so just bevel it uh, by holding down left mouse button and first we will define how deep it should go and second how the bevel should look now just make it straight and let's go back and once more now bevel or extrude it straight a little bit more <coughs> Bevel, 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 poly, and bevel again. Can do a little bit larger bevel here. Come on. And I will stop here and check the reference. How it should look, uh, or what what it's here. So P for perspective, and let's check it. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. I see. So back to top, and by this we sh actually should go back to back by the bevel. So I'll just. Bevel it a little bit back. Okay, I'll move this oh, like this. Bevel it again back. Now, so far, the reference picture is not absolutely matching the blueprint. It's fine. It's fine when not everything is absolutely how I uh, how I wish it should be. So we will have some time where we just need to improvise by this model so I will drag it to the back <coughs> now I will do another extrude here ok I will extrude it also to the back just like this Alt X and let's go to this reference picture. So, okay, this is fine. The shape we have here and actually shouldn't be so absolutely like this. Okay, just I will just fix it, uh, fix something here. I will select this vertex and Okay, I need to pull, pull them a little bit up. The same I will do at the bottom. Just these and not these. To make it a little bit bigger and I can also match uh, this. Not so much, better not that, just this. Let's straighten this. Okay, okay, I think uh, this looks a little bit more like the blueprint and also the reference. Now, perspective. Like, let's look. Okay, we have these, these, and uh, we'll quickly to this bag, just the shape, the basic shape for it, the details we will do later. So we can work in the perspective right now. Now, still selected this poly. 
hold down control and edge so like the edge is here and let's chamfer them let's chamfer them like this and again try to be a nice double chamfer already see the keyboard is a better solution for this than the mouse in this case so I will select just this stop loop it try to transfer it again now just by the keyboard a little bit okay Now we'll select this poly and we will do a quick quick and small bevel. Come on. Oops. Like this. Okay, the back is fine. Now, to this thing here, which was uh, this on the reference picture, we need to actually pull this inside. So, uh, select this edge, ring it, control poly, and just let's extrude it by uh, local normal and let's go inside. Now, we don't can go much inside. I will go just uh, like this because if you saw the vertex, there was collapsing there. So actually, we, we need to go like this. Maybe let's check it. Better check twice than once. No, it's not so much. It's, it's just a little bit. Now, if you will have a problem like this, that you have here the chamfers. Now these vertex are collapsing here, so just make it like this. Check vertex. Select this. Uh, collapse it or reverse vertex and collapse them together. You will fix the shape, you can up the chamfer it and everything fix on the shape. I will not do is uh, do this because I saw it's not going so deep how I thought. So I will just make it a little bit just, just to make sure that the shape isn't collapsed already. Well, this should be fine. So we extruded it uh, inside to ma match the shape. Now select these, 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 and this edge here, loop it, and we will chamfer them. Let's do this by the keyboard. So chamfer them like this. I will jump again like this. Oops. Yep. Okay. So we have this detail there. Let's go to front. Just check. This a little bit. Everything here looks fine so far. Perspective. And okay. So we did here some of the, this detail, just this detail here, and we can do this and proceed to the front, I think. And after we'll do the rest of the details. So let's go to the top. Alt X and select these edges here connect them just connect them once and move it to the right position 
again the address and connect and then again oh. so this edge ring it control poly perspective Let's see it's a little better extrude and I will not go inside but outside and we'll go outside just a tiny little bit let's go just by 0 2 and like before we will chamfer these edges and we will chamfer them just once so select these edges here and on the other side loop them so chamfer and I think okay go with this value here now select this one edge ring it press connect this time by two and it's fine it's just a texture but i need to have here some edge extra edge so we are proceeding on our body here it's, i don't know if it's already looking like a rifle but it's not looking so bad so far. Now let's go to the top, which would be sorry, a little bit difficult. Now let's see the reference picture. Okay, this looks actually like a more than a, another shape here. I would like to keep it. Uh, in this shape, actually, uh, I think we can do it from this shape, and we we will. Do. So let's go to top. I'll select this top polygon, like before the back one. Okay, go a little bit back. Now, okay, I need to think. Okay, actually, I have an idea. I will keep it by this shape. Extrude this. Now, I will select these all polys here and let's extrude them. First, like this, let's go to perspective. I think this extrude is enough. Yeah, it's enough. Let's go to top cane. Now select the uh, vertex here, perspective, and <coughs> we need to pull them down. I'm just thinking how to select them the best. Top. Okay, we need to pull this all down, but we need to deselect uh, these which are inside. And the same on the other side. Oops, not control, uh, alt. Now, top again, and uh, let's pull them down, straight down to match the shape, perspective, <coughs> and yes, so it's great that we can do this from the uh, same shape like we already had, and now we'll uh, keep it just like here, and after I think it's going to another extrude, so let's go. Uh, or I just think uh, I have no idea. I don't see here anything. <coughs> let's look here a little bit. No, I don't think the shape is going to be bigger. So uh, I think we can track it here and end the shape by a bevel. So I'll select just a. 
and bevel it a little bit. Oops. Oh. Ay, ay, ay. Back uh, perspective. <coughs> okay. Now I'm, I see the problem. Oops. Well. No, I don't want to see this. Sorry for this. Okay, I will keep it so far here. Oh, okay. Uh, where I stopped. Okay, uh, we have here two polys. Uh, actually, one here and the uh, other. All right. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, doesn't matter. We need to have here just one. So select this one. Can all. Press delete, select border, select a border and cap it. Select poly. Let's go to top and do the bevel. So let's bevel it once more. <coughs> and yeah. By this we are done, I think, by the front so far. Now we need to uh, still chamfer these edges here because they are too sharp. So select uh, these and these, loop them. Now let's chamfer them by the keyboard to be much easier. So let's chamfer first like this, apply, and do a double chamfer. Keep it like that. Okay. So, so far it's uh, looking a little bit strange, but we'll fix this. Just need to do the shape. So, uh, first of all, we need to do this here. So, this cut. Hmm. I think, uh, let's go to left. No, it's right. Put X and maybe better would be to uh, in my perspective. So let's go here. Yeah, that's better. Select these and these edges. Just be sure that uh, nothing else is selected. I will rotate a little bit around. Okay. And connect them twice like this. Oh, scale is not working. Uh, deselect these and move this. I don't know. By the reference picture, it's uh, hard to see. Uh, where the cut should be. So I will just go from I. Here and here. Okay. This, I was talking uh, before. Just be sure don't select anything what you don't uh, want to move. Then you will do your model and after oops. And it's very hard to fix something like that. So I don't know. Maybe it's enough, maybe it's too much, but I think it's enough and it's not so much. So I need to oops where I am. To cut here a hole straight, uh, I think actually to the front, but I'm not sure. Hmm. No, I don't think absolutely to the front, but like here to the middle. So I will do another co uh, connect just by once. Uh, Keep it actually by the reference picture here. Okay, I will leave it here. Go back to perspective Z to zoom on it. And one, uh, once I need a quick cut here to define uh, what I have, what I want to delete. So let's go here. 
select the cut tool and make a straight cut. The same here. Okay. For perspective, uh, default perspective, and now I need to delete something. And I will delete. Oops. Oh man, I should delete this button here. Uh, delete this, 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 and also this. We will keep the chamfer here or not. Hmm. Maybe not. No, I'm sure that not. Um, I don't know, I have to decide. It's hard for me to decide. Because this shape should go after inside, so no, it's better for me to keep the chunk there. No, I will select this edge here, select move, hold down shift, and drag it, just drag it straight. Uh, let's go to top, front, to move it to the right position. Perspective. Oops. I will select these and these and these shape here and do the same. Hold on, shift and put it down. Just sync it to the edge which we was uh, putting down before. fine. Now we have still here uh, something and it's this, this and this edge. I didn't want it to put them straight down before but I will try it right now. And uh, it's fine. Okay. So I'll go one step back and select to the to that edges before also these ones to make everything in one track. Now oh, select also these and again hold down shift and drag them down straight down like this. Now let's put everything together. What I mean is that, uh, okay, let's start better here. So like vertex, this one, Z. Uh, this line uh, from the bottom should be the straightest here. So I will touch the weld, uh, this vertex to this, connect them to one shape. The same I will do also here. Uh, oops. Press Z to zoom on all. Now, again, touch it weld. Touch weld. And we're defining our shape very nicely. Now to these ones. Okay, select them, Z to zoom. It will be a little bit harder, but I think hard because uh, this we can move and this is connected, but we have still here one which isn't connected. Hold X and we need to connect this and better weld this one here. The same on the other side. So rotate, move. By the way, rotating and moving, it's like I was telling in the basic tutorial. I actually tried to tell this in all the tutorials by holding Alt or Control and the middle mouse button. So once uh, you move and once you rotate. Depends if you hold Alt or Control. Now rotate, rotate, and find this one. 
Select it and touch the world. Great. Now we have here three three vertex which we need to connect to this bottom plane. Vertex plane. Uh, better select po poly already, but you can keep it like a plane. Just tell nobody. Now select this and this. Okay, control this one. I hope connect will be working. Yep, and we need three, three connections. Oh, just just make one. Make one. Uh, move it back. And now we need to move it. Uh, oops, oops. Ah, we will move it actually uh, like this. Now select this and the opposite edge here. The connected twice, so we'll do the cuts for all three vertex which are floating right now there. Let's zoom on this again and touch weld, and we will always weld here to here. Great. So the this corner is connected, and the same will, oops, the same will do here. So set the cane, touch the weld, and oops, uh, I'm missing here one. Okay, let's hide it. So once second and third. Great. <coughs> okay, great. So we did this cut for the. For I have no idea what this should be. It looks like a holder for this cylinder, but we did the hole for that. And uh, you could see that we was practicing the polymer modeling a lot because uh, we started from a box. We created this shape here, and we came to a question like to use another object or do it from this object. And I choose to do it from this object, so it's nice to train all the techniques which uh, you should know when you do uh, difficult, more difficult objects. Uh, right now, I'm thinking what edges to weld, uh, to weld uh, chamfer here. Now, I'm sure we need to chamfer this one, also this one. This. I I want to be very careful about chamfering because I, I don't want to have triangle polys here and actually I'm sure I will have here before I try anything I will cut this once more here don't have to be a straight cut if something I will delete the vertex there but I'm doing this just to don't have the triangle chamfer uh, you know, when you have a polygon from triangles and try to apply any modifier, you do a lot of mess. Try to aware, be aware of using the, the kind of uh, polys by chamfer. Oh, anyway, we need to chamfer also this. Let's try a loop. What it will ah, create this loop. Let's select these, and we need also this to chamfer. Also, this to chamfer, and the wall tutorial will chamfer like hell every every edge. And let's do a chamfer. Let's do not a big chamfer. Let's try a little less. Oops, I think. Uh, oh, please. Okay. Okay, uh, you see, uh, I don't have here the triangles. Okay, uh, I'm thinking right now. I will do it a little bit different. I don't want to chamfer anything right now, so I will cancel it. I will keep the selection by 
typing here selection and pressing just enter. And I, first of all, I will check uh, everything just here around. I will not select these here. I'm still thinking, sorry. So I'll just try. This is not actually a good decision. Because uh, right now, uh, you can see uh, what the chamfer did. This is chamfer, this is chamfer, uh, here's a crack. So we need to assign everything to the chamfer. But I'm sure when we do a big chamfer here, we will have some. You see? Oops, oops, oops. We have problems with the chamfer. I'm not sure even if I want to make a uh, big chamfer like this. This would be nice. Yeah, I, I have here triangle chamfer, but I don't care. Here inside, I don't care. So I'm thinking, let me uh, give me a time to think, because like everything, I never tried to make the tutorial before, because you see, it, it takes time, and it's not about that I don't want to do them. Before I just don't have time to do that. Before, sure, I would like a chamfer like this, but I'm sure it will not allow me. Okay, let's see how much I can go. Um, I think I will uh, anyway stick by just uh, by a little chamfer here. I think it would be also enough. Now, I, I know I do. It takes me time to think. Okay. It's because uh, I have here a lot of uh, these edges here which are too near together. And I could delete them. I don't want to delete them. Okay, I'm thinking just a little bit. Oh, I, I don't want to delete them. Actually, I could delete them. Yeah, why I didn't delete them before? Okay, I don't know. So I will delete these edges here. I was anyway using them just as guidelines to connect the other shape. And I don't know why I kept I kept them. I have here uh, this vertex. Uh, okay, I'm thinking why I didn't delete the vertex. Okay, my bad. Sorry, but you see, thinking by modeling is fine. Okay, let's try again our selection, which is not working. So anyway, we delete most of that. So I can select here these ones. Oops. This, this, and this. I, I hope we can go now more deeper with the chamfer. Let's try for settings like this. Now it's going. A little crazy shape. But it's fine, it's not looking so bad. Just just a little crazy. We can fix it just by moving them back a little bit. Just thinking if I'm uh, going to keep the settings or not. Oops, 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 oops. Uh, much edges selected. So again, setting this up. Yeah, I think I will keep the settings. Fix that uh, just by moving the vertex a little bit back. And the same 
here. And pull them. I want to make them absolutely stri straight, but just a little bit to preserve the shape you know just before. And I will be very happy to do a double chamfer, but uh, I will not do a double chamfer for this big chamfer. I will select the new edges here. You can do it by selecting the polys, surround them. Okay, it's fine. Control Edge, chamfer. Not so much. Triangles. Add triangles. Oh no. Uh, okay. Group this once. I will check for all the edges. Okay. I will try. And we will see. Let's control edge. Chamfer. And let's look at the shape. Okay, we have a few which I don't like much, but most of them are fine. Okay, we have here this mess because uh, we don't need to check for these ones. Surely we don't need to check for these ones. For these ones, we can. These ones. This, 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 and this. So the chamfer is, uh, how to say, it's important, very important. So be patient when you do them, because when you do Bad, you will have a bad shape, and we don't have it. We don't want to have a bad shape. Okay, I think this is fine. Let's, uh, I'll take a four to see how it's looking here. Uh, it looks nice, nice and smooth. Also, without any smooth, very smooth modifier or so, which is very nice. Okay, and I think I will also stop here because uh, we did. Uh, a lot of things already. Okay. It's, it's fine. Uh, okay, let's just look at how the smooth modifier will look on this shape. Out of mode and perfect. Perfect. I'm very happy that it's looking like this. You see, we don't even need the mesh smooth. All the edges, mostly of them, of course, are likely smooth. Okay, we need a little bit chamfer here and there, but doesn't matter right now. And you see, uh, if we look uh, on statistics, we have 2000 polys here, just 2000 of them. We have nice and smooth model, which is very important. So, I actually tells us that we model arrived, and I'm very happy it's going like this. Okay, so uh, I will see you in the next part. I don't know what I will do there. Uh, I think I will try to proceed here and I will leave the detail, all the details uh, after. And uh, I don't know. Really, I, don't, I have no idea. Uh, we, you will see. So, uh, I'm happy that you uh, download this tutorial and watching them. Watching that. And I hope to see you in the next part. And so far, bye bye.